everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Winnie Bush and this is Winning with Winnie. So y'all, in today's video, um, I want to highlight a university in the United States of America called Northern Illinois University. So Northern Illinois University is, first of all, like look at this amazing pictures y'all. It's just so dope. Um, but just taking a little bit about their website, I want to talk about funding for specifically for master's and PhD students and for those who want to start in the spring. So typically the spring for most schools starts January, um, January, February, March around that around that time frame. So um, for anyone who's interested in moving to the United States, like January 2023, like this school is well suited to transfer because they have what's called um, graduate assistantship, which means that they pay your tuition. So just a little bit, of, this is just their homepage on their website, like you can see. Um, by the numbers, they say they have over a hundred, um, I say a hundred plus undergraduate programs. Um, they say six thousand of their students receive scholarships, and two hundred they have two hundred student organizations. Um, so yeah, but let's dig right into the first our first thing that we'll be looking at. So here is their graduate school. So for their graduate school, um, it says that typically the time frames are by like it it would take you fifteen minutes with careful preparation. And it says the cost of applying is sixty dollars for degree seeking students, and then ten dollars for those students who are not seeking a degree. And like always, <laughs> for most universities, the application fee is non-refundable. So it talks a little bit about how the steps you need to apply or how to apply. So you first go with selecting your program, and then you gather your application documents. So that's transcripts, letters of recommendation, your statement of purpose, um, test scores. Like they put their age required. So there are some programs who require test scores and some programs that do not require test scores. So just check in to make sure which you know where your program falls. And then you also need to prepare your resume or your CV. Um, and then lastly, it's just any additional materials that might be required by your program. And then the next thing is formatting um, your materials. And it says like read out file upload requirements to make sure your materials are formatted correctly. And then you have your referee. So these are people who will write your letters of recommendation for you. So you ask them and then, you know, I'm pretty sure you probably put it in their system and then they send those people an email. And then you start your online application, you provide all of the required information, and then the last part is just finalizing and submitting your application. So if you wanted to start your application, you would just hit this tab, start your application, but I'm not applying, <laughs> so I won't click on that. And then the next thing I wanted to show you guys about NIU or Northern Illinois University, um, specifically for my international people. Um, so for international students, it talks a little bit about the requirements. So it says, um, to apply for their graduate school, you must have completed a four-year undergraduate degree before. You must also have achieved um, at least a 2.75 GPA on a four-point scale. And then it goes into a little bit about if you received a degree, you know, all of that good stuff. And then a lot of a little bit more information as well about the application materials you need. So your transcript, you need test scores. Um, okay, you need your passport. So it says passport is not required. So right here, let me highlight that. So it says a passport is required to be issued an I twenty, but not for admission purposes. Okay, and then let's see by here. Okay, so for those who might need to take like TOEFL or ELTS or PTE English proficiency exam. It says you're able to take, they'll, they'll accept a Duolingo English test in place of that. Um, so it says the cost of that is $49. I'm guessing you take it online. Yeah, excellent. So you take it on your computer. Um, it takes about 45 minutes to complete. So that's not bad. So there's that. And then I just wanted to kind of show you some of the programs that they offer. So this is your master's program. So accountancy, accounting, anthropology. So many programs, art and design, education, athletics training, biology teaching, communication studies, history, um, higher education, student affairs, public health, um, sociology, all of it, Spanish, theater, arts. So they have all those programs for their masters. And then I think I had the one, let me move this over here. So for their doctoral program, um, they have, so same thing a little bit, so biology sciences, chemistry, computer science, economics, educational leadership and policy. Um, they have history, they have political science and psychology and physical therapy and medicine. All right, so we've looked a little bit into, you know, the materials you need. We've looked into the different programs that they offer. 
The next thing, I um, started just looking into two of their programs. So, like, for example, in their chemistry department, um, I wanted to see. So, these are the different areas. Um, so, I basically just clicked on one of these. So, I just clicked on chemistry. Where is chemistry now? So, I just clicked on chemistry, and then it took me over here. So, anyway, so um, so this is a different different um, areas that they offer in chemistry. And then for them, for the chemistry program, a GRE score is required. Um, you need two letters of recommendation. Then it talks a little bit about um, the application deadline. So for this video, I'm focusing on the spring. So people who want to start like January of 2023. So to start, so you first application deadline, you will need to apply by October 1st. Um, if um, it says applicants residing in the United States can apply by December 10th. And then priority consideration is October 1st. So if you want to get that full funding I mentioned, you would need to apply by the October 1st. And then I looked a little bit also into public health because that's another one a lot of people ask me about. So for the masters in public health, um, they, you need two letters of recommendation. Um, they have two areas of emphasis. So they have a specialization in health promotions and also a specialization in health services management. Um, GRE is not required for this one. And then for the application deadlines, um, there's October 1st. Um, if you're living abroad, so if you're living outside of the country, outside of the United States, your deadline will be October 1st, and then if you're living inside, it will be December 13th. So that's just a little bit of um, those two programs. And then, yeah, for the graduate assistantships, um, it covers tuition waivers. As you can see here, there's a tuition waiver. It's a tuition, uh, tuition waiver, and they also provide you with a stipend as well. And then I had clicked on this form just to show you what... Um, their application process for like their graduate assistantship would be. So you would basically um, select which of the terms you are applying for, put all your information, the country of citizenship, the visa, all of that good stuff. Um, okay, you put in the type of assistantship, the hours you want, um, academic department. I'll just keep scrolling down so you guys can see all the different information. So you put your different employees. So it also like the service. Okay, it's not bad. It's like a two-page document, right? Am I so two pages? Yeah, so it's a two-page document. So this is some. This is what you would fill out if you're looking for an assistance with that. But so yeah, y'all. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, let me know if you know other schools that are offering spring admissions and offer full tuition scholarships or full fully funded scholarships. Like, let me know so I can do a video on them. Um, so other people can benefit from them as well. Until next time, my name is Nina Bush. Bye, y'all.